Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with another tutorial inside of Ableton Live. Today we're taking a look at getting multiple MIDI ins and multiple audio outs of the UVI workstation. So this is the UVI workstation right here and it works a lot like the contact instrument player. So I just did a tutorial for Plugin Boutique where I showed you how to stack patches inside of the UVI workstation. And stacking patches essentially means that I can have as many instruments as I want being triggered by one note on my keyboard. So if I hit the C on my keyboard, I can trigger four different instruments at the same time with that one key. But what I wanted to do is go one step further in this tutorial, and that is have multiple MIDI sources triggering each one of these instruments and then having that audio being sent out to its own track inside Ableton Live, if that makes sense. So what I did was I left this little project, my experimental project open right here in Live, and I'm just gonna play it to show you what I mean. I have three MIDI tracks, I have four instruments inside of the UVI workstation, and you'll be able to hear what I'm talking about. But essentially, this track, this MIDI, will trigger instruments one and four, and this MIDI will trigger instrument two, and this MIDI will trigger instrument three, and I'll be able to control the audio from each of these channels for the two instruments here and instrument two and three here. So let's just go ahead and listen. So as you can see, everything is working. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and delete this and go ahead and rebuild it in a new project to show you how that's done. So here I am in a new project. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the UVI workstation onto a MIDI track, UVI workstation. And the workstation is free by the way, and I believe it comes with some factory sounds. I'm just gonna be using the uh, Synth Anthology 2, which is a massive set of, I think, 2,500 presets. So it's pretty, it's pretty large, to say the least. But I'm just going to go ahead and let's get a keyboard, piano maybe. And right now, put in some MIDI. That sounds great. I'm just going to have that loop and let that loop right there, and here we go. So now I have one instrument playing, and I got it on the A1 uh, MIDI track. If I wanted to add a second MIDI instrument, I would click the empty slot, and I would find another instrument. And right now it's not playing because it's not being triggered by that MIDI, it's on its own MIDI slot. So we're on A2 now. So inside of Ableton Live, we have to control shift T to get a new MIDI track. And then we need to go into the instruments and drop an external instrument onto the track. And then MIDI output. So you wanna send the MIDI to the UVI workstation. We want the UVI workstation second MIDI channel. And we want the audio from the second output. So I want to send this MIDI into the UVI workstation, specifically the second MIDI channel, and then I want to get that audio out back into this track. Great, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate that MIDI, and I'm going to, uh, let's see, let's make it shorter. So right now, you'll hear that that MIDI is triggering that bass, but it's coming, the audio is coming out of this first channel. Okay, so if I go back into the MIDI, the UVI workstation. So right now, this MIDI is being fed into the UVI workstation, which is sending the audio out onto the same channel as the piano. But I want that bass to go into its own channel inside Ableton Live so I can have better control over it. And the way we do that is click this little gear icon out here and you'll see that it says main out under output. We wanna click that and go to out two. And now when we play it, we should get the audio out of this on this channel right here. And I don't like that bass sound. And next thing I'm gonna do is go into this instrument and go to edit and just drop it down an octave. 
So just to recap, what we're gonna do is add a second or a third instrument rather, and I'm just gonna add Control Shift T again to drop a MIDI in there, Control click and drag, and I'm going to again make it a shorter instance, take an external instrument rack, drop it on there, output to the UVI workstation, specifically the third channel inside the UVI workstation, audio from the third output, from the UVI workstation. And if we go back into the UVI workstation, we should be able to set this up fairly easily. So I'm just gonna go in and let's see, I think there's some effects weird stuff. Drunken Pac-Man sounds about right. And that's telling me that the MIDI is routed, but it's coming out of that first channel again and we don't want that, so we need to click the gear icon go to the output source and go to output three. And now we have control over it. And the reason why you might wanna do that, by the way, is if I'm mixing this track, I don't wanna to have to open up the UVI workstation every time and do things inside of there. Let's say I've got the patch sounding exactly how I like it as best I can inside of the UVI workstation. I wanna do my mixing and uh, additional effects without having to open up this this interface, you know what I mean? So that's how to do it. That's why you might want to do it. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.